So I just finished making this beast out of a piece of cherry. And I'm going to go through the tools and the process to make it. Back in 760 AD, the earliest known chess pieces were being carved from ivory in Uzbekistan. In the modern day, however, wood is the best choice. The most expensive luxury wooden sets are made from boxwood and ebony. Characterised by their hardness and grain density, they are able to hold detail to an exceptional standard. I first turn the wood between centres, roughing it down. cutting a short section to be gripped in a scroll chuck. With the tailstock supporting the wood, I true it up and then begin shaping the piece. So king, my king anyway, four inches tall, so let's start there. Yes, so now we've got our, our length marked out, we can start shaping the base. Exciting stuff! Okay, these are already set, so this is the, that's the diameter. Okay, so we're perfect there. Okay, so we're down to size so I can start shaping the base. I use my precision skew chisel to intricately carve out the base. Got one here that I'm roughly copying, so I'm just gonna make a rough mark of where I want the first bead to start. I now move on to a scraper to gouge out the long and round shank. Extremely thin tool for getting in those gaps. You run the scraper along that taper and or that radius and you can feel any imperfections just in the handle of the tool. That's feeling pretty damn good to me. Shaping the beads is the most intricate part of the process and requires a lot of attention to detail. Being extremely careful at this point, 
not to catch the unsupported edge on the wood because it would then inevitably um, spin down here, dig into the tool because it's unsupported and then drag it down and likely ruin the wood. So I'm going to mark roughly where I want the head. The head of the king wants to end about there, and the peak in diameter is about there. I round the head of the king, being extremely careful not to take too much material off and ruin the shape. Okay, I'm going to start shaping the cross now. So we want a bead.
the cross almost there, I make a few finishing touches and sand the piece from 240 grit up to 600. And finally, an abrasive pad to prepare the piece for finishing. I part off the waist and finish the cross, the reason for holding in a chuck instead of turning between centers. To finish the cross, I very carefully grind two flats on either side. Tiny bit more. And then hand finish it with fine, cloth-backed, abrasive paper. The base is trimmed down and flattened on a disc sander. I use a Forzner bit to cut a recess and add a stainless steel weight to the base. With the weight glued in place, I add bays to the bottom, preventing the piece from scratching the board. For great results in finishing, I coat the piece in Danish oil and leave for at least a week before buffing and polishing with three different hard wax compounds. Trapoli, White Diamond and Carnuba. The wheels are made from cotton, a blend of cotton and linen, and pure linen respectively, with the equivalent grit getting finer through the process. <laughs>